live where all of this started. Well, it's a pretty intense situation here on Frankstown Avenue in Homewood, where police initially made an outreach visit to the Salvation Army. It happened just down the sidewalk there, and at the time, they say that bullets started to fly, and police, as they came out, they were pinned inside. Now, they say that the direction of the gunfire came from Blackador Avenue, and that's where police spent the afternoon conducting their search. City, county, and state police, along with the sheriff's department, all converged on Blackador Avenue. Now, here is SWAT searching a set of four roadhouses, and their search did not turn up suspects. This is a man pulled over from one of those houses, questioned by police, and checked for gunpowder residue on his hands, but he was not arrested. Meanwhile, SWAT searched for a second location on the same street and found several bullet casings. But again, no suspects. They were not here on a 911 call. When all of a sudden they heard shots being fired, um, they looked outside and they um, were able to observe muzzle flash coming from one of the homes in the 900 block of Blackador. I was in the kitchen and we heard about seven shots. Bow, 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 bow. You could actually see smoke, you know what I mean? And I was like scared because I said, well, you know, being that our house is closed, I don't want them to shoot here. So what we did is we went to ducking down and everything. And there are two other matters of note. First of all, the people inside the Salvation Army, at the time that the gunfire broke out, they were all sent to a safe area in the basement. In the meantime, at this hour, police are still trying to determine if they were the target of that gunfire or if the shooter was aiming for someone else. Reporting live from Homewood, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. All right, Sheldon, thank you. Now, the gunfire is sending nearby schools into lockdown. Parents, as you can imagine, on edge as they learned what was going on. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Marcy Cipriani live with us with that part of the story. Marcy. Andrew, this is Pittsburgh Faison. It is one of the three schools that were on lockdown today. The children were locked inside for several hours while that SWAT situation began right here outside their doors. Let's take a look at that video of what was happening outside the school while those kids were inside. Now you can see there were armored vehicles and SWAT officers surrounding homes looking for who fired the shots outside the Salvation Army. Now the other schools on lockdown were Crescent Early Childhood Center and Student Achievement Center, and this lockdown. Lockdown lasted hours and left parents waiting and worried. Oh, the schools called and left a recorded message on all the uh, the, the mothers and the fathers' uh, phones, saying that you can't come down to the school, you can't let nobody in, can't nobody come out. Salvation Army's locked down. My daughter goes to both of them. She's down a phase on. I went to go pick her up, and they said no, they're not letting nobody. Move. As you can see, the children have been released from school. They are all safe. They have gone home to their parents. The situation has wrapped up as far as officers here outside. But I also can tell you the Salvation Army has canceled all of their after school activities as a result of this because Pittsburgh police are still looking for the person who fired those shots. Reporting live in Homewood, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.